bloody good is this? Alrighty, I'm back on another camping adventure. So pretty much I am now in South Australia. Just to do a bit, bit of a recap. I haven't actually left again for the next part of the trip. I have been in Victoria. It's been Christmas, it's been New Year's. I'm going on like a little holiday at the moment to South Australia to a place called Robe. Robe is pretty much sand driving, sand dunes, the beach. It looks like a really cool spot. I have never actually been and I'm not actually doing this by myself. There's a few other cars that are here as well and they have all never been here either. So it's probably a recipe for disaster, but I did want to see Robe on the way through for the next section of the lap, but I did not want to do it by myself because we all know how shit I am at beach driving. <laughs> so doing this bit now with a group of people, then I'm going to the Murray for three days, which is back into Victoria. And then I'll go back to where I was in Victoria for a few weeks before I then start the next section of the trip. So now that that's out the way we're heading to robe let's hit the road all right so i've just done a little pit stop at a place called mount gambia and we are at the blue lake and you can see exactly why it has this name this is like the bluest lake i've ever seen in my entire life but um yeah we we're hoping you could swim at the bottom but the road is actually blocked off so we're not sure if it's like that all the time or if it is just today but yeah we will just admire this pretty lake from the top So we are in Robe and we're just going to drive through the sand dunes now and try and find somewhere to camp. Probably close to the beach, but yeah, we'll see what we can get. So we're deflating the tyres and then as I took it out, this come out. So we've deflated the whole tyre and now I've got to pump the whole thing back up again. Not ideal. <laughs> Alright, there's my little sister Ruby. Hi! And this is her dog Hank. You are so pretty! One day, when I can actually look after myself, I will get a Kelpie. So I've just walked over the hill, and yeah, the beach is literally just here. I'm just kind of hiding from the wind again. But um, yeah, we picked a pretty good spot actually. I haven't actually seen a sunset on the beach in a really long time. Because in Cairns and the east coast, the sun rises on the beach. But now that I've come around a little bit, it's really nice to see a sunset on the beach for once. So yeah, it's so pretty. I'm gonna say goodnight here. We will probably do a little bit of full driving along the beach. I don't remember how to get back. Probably do a little bit of full driving along the beach tomorrow. And yeah, I'm not actually 100% sure. Hopefully the weather is nice so we can actually tan and relax. But yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is a little bit overcast, so we are gonna hit the beach to begin with and do some full driving. We've had some breakfast and I've packed up the tent because we are only gonna take two cars to the beach and then we'll leave some stuff here. The beach access is literally just behind us, so it worked out perfectly. So yeah, we're just getting ready to do that now. All right, so Max's tire is probably looking a little bit too flat. This is Max, Ruby's boyfriend. So uh, we're gonna pump it up again using my brand new compressor that I had to use yesterday anyway. But um, yeah, we'll pump this up just a little bit and then we'll hit the sand. driving around the dunes for a while there and this place is actually sick but we decided that we need boogie boards to go down the dunes with i was actually going to bring my snowboard but i kind of didn't really want to stuff it with the sand so yeah just grab them i went back into robe to grab them actually and now i'm just heading back to the campground now but look at this place 
Like there's tubing's bloody everywhere. Like it's actually insane. So I'm back at the campground, back with the others, and I'm going to show you guys the boogie board that I got. It's literally freaking tiny, but see how there's like a little rope hole at the top? I reckon we could attach a rope and put it to the back of the car, and then like, I don't know, I think we're going to have to belly flop onto it rather than like stand on it, because it is so small, and the dunes are pretty steep, but we'll see how we go. as well as with hope we tried to wrap some plastic bags around it and see if it made it a little bit more like slippery but yeah i think i ended up getting pretty winded <laughs> so now we're going to keep driving and find some full drive tracks to go up instead okay i can definitely confirm i like this sort of sand driving if you followed like the last few YouTube videos I did, Queensland sand is soft as shit, but this is like fine to drive on. So I like sand driving now. Maybe it was just Queensland. But um, yeah, we're gonna go back to the camp now, chill out for a little bit, and then we'll go down to the beach and drive along it for sunset. All right, so we've been back at camp for a little bit now. It's just pretty much down the hill. I'm gonna hide from the wind. So you walk up the sand dune and then you get to the top here where you can see the ocean. So we are gonna watch the sunset back over at the dunes. So I'm just gonna go for a little walk now and just go and have a look at the beach anyway. So yeah, let's do that now. So I am actually coming back through South Australia in like the next few weeks when I start that next section of my lap again. So if you do have any suggestions of anywhere in South Australia or anywhere from like Victoria up through to Alice Springs, please let me know because I would love to see some of your suggestions. And yeah, I actually do really like South Australia so far. I know I've only seen a little bit of it, but the beaches are absolutely beautiful. So um, yeah, I'm actually excited to come back through it and see some other places as well. So comment below and let me know. I actually can't believe how lucky we got with the weather. It was like overcast and pretty cold this morning as you would have seen. And then yeah, from about lunchtime, the clouds just disappeared and it turned into a really hot day. So it worked out really well. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna set up camp because we're all gonna jump in Max's car to watch the sunset over at the dunes. So yeah, I can set up camp and get everything ready for bed so then I can jump back in and go to sleep. I won't set up the awning obviously because the sun's going down, so I'll just get the tent up. Lots of space. I do actually put a doona in here as well, which it would close with the doona in, but I just get worried that I won't be able to open the locks by myself if it is too tight. So I do choose to take the doona out, but it would shut. But uh, yeah, when I'm in the heat, obviously I only need a blanket, but since I've been south, obviously I'm bloody cold. So I have the doona in here as well. But yeah, it's so comfy. Also, those bits at the top, if I really wanted to, and if I had service, I could put like a laptop or an iPad or my phone and rest it in there as well and then you can watch Netflix or movies. So much better than a swag, especially if you're traveling, like setting this up every day is not a problem at all, but I don't think that I would want to do it if I had to set up a swag every day, especially, yeah, traveling around Australia. So yeah, can't complain. Uh, 
the sun is on its way down and it has just got bloody cold so we're all piling in max's car and we're gonna go across to the dunes and yeah watch the sun actually set All right, just got back to camp. I was gonna get the drone up over at the dunes, but it was on an absolute gale and I just have a little mini. So I think it only takes around 30 k's an hour. I am staying here one more night, so two more days, but I will finish off the video here just cause I like soaking in the whole camp vibe without phones and technology and all that sort of stuff as well. So yeah, we'll probably just keep doing the same sort of things, going for drives in the sand dunes. I will try and soak up a little bit more sun tomorrow while the sun comes out. And yeah, just actually relax for a little bit. The next video will either be one from Vic or it might be the start of the lap again. I'm not 100% sure, but thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.